Hey guys, Irene here. Today I'm shooting with a gorgeous model, Sarah, in my DIY home studio. I'm using LED lighting and some very affordable gear. You all seem to like when I use budget setups, so today I chose Canon EOS RP and the EF 50mm 1.8, my super super old nifty 50. You can get the setup for around a thousand bucks, so I just wanted to show you guys that you can get great results even if you can't afford top of the line camera and lens. The inspiration for today's shoot came from me mainly watching way too many historical movies, mainly a lot of renaissance ones and I really really enjoy the nightgowns that they wear so I went for this almost a little bit spooky theme with the girl with her very long curly hair uh, wearing a nightgown and holding a candle as if she was woken up in the middle of the night and she needed to see what's making the sound so she grabbed a candle and is walking around the halls in her castle I wanted the hair to be very big, voluminous, curly and long, just like the ladies in the renaissance movies. So I took out some of these extensions that matched the model's hair and I curled them beforehand. It was a little bit tricky because they are synthetic so I had to kind of roll them up into rollers and then put them in a plastic bag and really heat them up with the hair dryer but it worked pretty well so then I attached them to Sarah's hair and I think that looked really really good. For my main light I'm using Aperture 120D with an Octabox and I positioned it on the left side turned almost completely parallel to the background to get that feathered lighting and have the background a lot darker. I also have a hair light on the other side at the back of the model. I'm using Aperture 20D Mini with a warm gel here. Uh, it gave pretty harsh light so I actually covered it with a diffuser I took off of another sound box and that worked pretty well. Overall this is a very classic kind of lighting setup and it works very well every time. I also love using LEDs because I can easily adjust the position of the light and see the results immediately so I would definitely recommend LEDs over strobes if you are just starting out to shoot in the studio and learn lighting but keep in mind that these are not very powerful so I am going to be shooting at a higher ISO and lower apertures. Oh shoot this looks good what the heck. You know, sometimes these cheap setups actually look really good in the studio because they have like more grit to them and like more character. They don't look as like smooth and like perfect. And especially for this photo shoot where I kind of want a lot of character and grit to it, I think I might actually even like this more. So I was shooting at 1.8, but I think I'm gonna change it to like 2.8. And then I'm just gonna raise my ISO a little bit. God damn, this actually looks good. Like really good. I hope it's sharp. Ooh, ooh, my God, that look, that is so beautiful. Silent treatment, is this what it feels like when your heart is shaking, when you bleed? Do, do this again, like just look at me. What if you do chin up just a little bit? Yeah. That's really, really gorgeous. So young and reckless, baby, you and I fit just like a glove, but I guess that's over now. We've been playing his for a and you have 
By the way, the backdrop that I'm using is from Kate Backdrops as usual. I really love these collapsible ones that they have. And till the end of November, all of them are 25% off if you use my code. So yeah, if you're interested, check out the link in the description. Ooh, 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 that's super beautiful. I just love that this pose is perfect because of the way that the sleeves are like falling and like the way you're holding it is so beautiful. So it like I, I can see like the very the length of like the hair. Okay, that's perfect. Perfect. Oh, wow. Amazing. So do just just straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just like that. Yes, exactly. Just eyes at me. Yes. A little bit from the back here as well like from one side yeah 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 oh oh my god oh, oh my god That looks like like a Renaissance picture. Wow! wow, wow. Oh my God, that's so gorgeous. Take just one step this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're in the middle of the backdrop. That's gorgeous. You know what? Let's do a few without this thing as well. Just your portraits. Yeah. Yes, that's really beautiful. Oh my god, oh my god, right there. <gasps> love it, love it, love it. Okay, still like that. I want to put this slightly lower because it's almost like not grabbing your eyes in some shots. I kind of want a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. A little bit more catch light. Oh my god. Are so good. All I got was my heart broken. I can see the times coming just for you. Right there, that's so pretty. All I got was my. And 
look at me here again? Someone said your name had a ton of room. Suddenly you're there standing in the crowd. Everything comes back in the blink of an eye. It's like you're mine. You're still mine. For editing, I made the hair bigger with the liquify tool. Then I did some skin retouch with dodge and burn. Next, I applied a preset with camera raw. Then I made the hair a little bit more red and vibrant. Next, some more dodge and burn, but this time to bring out some of the highlights. Finally, I did a lot more color correction and brought a lot more green into the image. Then I took out the little purple streaks in her hair and made it all one color. And finally, I applied just a little bit of sharpening. Shooting with this EF lens, the images were definitely not super tack sharp like I'm used to on my R5 and the RF lenses, but they still look decently sharp. And with a little bit of sharpening in Photoshop, I think the results look really, really nice. I also shot a few pictures on my regular setup with the R5 and the RF lenses and I also wanted to experiment a little bit so I tried using this softening filter from Kanko. I bought this on Amazon like years ago. It's meant for the EF 50mm 1.2, it's the 72mm diameter but it doesn't really fit on my RF lenses now so when I was using it I had to hold it up to the lens and I also had to tape it to the lens at one point which actually worked just fine so a tip for you guys if the filter doesn't fit you can just scotch tape it to the lens the effect that it gave was pretty interesting and I definitely want to experiment with it more so let me know if you guys like this filter or not yes that's really nice mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's perfect I wonder if we can, oh, actually, yes, yeah, still like that. I love the, the sleeve. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm thinking maybe if we uh, have one shoulder, you know what I mean? Like if, hold it. If we have like one shoulder like this with like a few of these curlies. like <laughs> yes oh my god love it love it love it this looks like like a romance novel cover you just need like fabio beside you oh my god she's sleeping she was sleeping there but you should just film a little bit of luna just sitting there <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Don't listen to what everyone else says. Take your time. You're not their mess. Yeah, you might not be at your best, but it's fine. I don't mind telling truth. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my god. Okay, I love this pose. This pose is beautiful. And let you know that it won't always be this way. You will get there someday. this other one see what this one looks like so blow that one up let's see and let's do some with you like just straight on mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh my god those are so pretty I really like the 50 for these I like never prefer the 50 I think I looked at too many of these like Russian portraits and they all kind of like to use 50 or even 35 sometimes for studio. How about when you can't see your way out, help you fight and let you know that
so this is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next one bye Just hold on a minute